students today we will discuss come to the feeding which is feeding is the most important management aspect of the pig farming and the major cost of the pig pig farming comes under the feeding so feeding of the pigs it likes all kind of fodders including grass green fodder and concentrate but limited amount of the green fodder is being provided feeding we are provided to the pigs as per the age first is the milk and colostrum from 15 to days to 2 months we must provide abundant as per the requirement we must provide the milk and colostrum 2 to 4 months depending on the ability 4 to 12 months no mainly milk we must provide the milk up to the weaning or 2 months of the age grazing must not be allowed during the pre weaning period but if the grazing facility is there then may provide the grazing facility to the grower or finisher pigs concentrate feeding from the second week onward up to the second week of age piglets completely they remain dependent on the milk only mother's milk but after 15 days after 14 days on means 15 days onward we must provide little amount of concentrate ration for the piglets and according to the consumption as the consumption increases we will increase the quantity of the concentrate to the piglets similarly if the age is 2 to 4 months the approx half kg concentrate is being provided if 4 to 12 months approx half kg to 0.75 kg of feed is being provided lekin if the age is the more than 12 months then 1.5 to 2 kg of feed per day should be given to the feed to the pigs so feeding of young one colostrum feeding grains should be started after 14 days of age and to prevent from piglets anemia iron injection is being given at the age of third day and at the age of 13th 13th day two times iron injection is provided so you just see how to feed pigs stall feeding grazing both grazing and stall feeding this is the quantity of feed to provide the adult pigs for lactating animals 1 to 1.5 kg feed is along with the grazing facility is there if grazing facility is not there then the 2 to 2.5 kg feed is required for breeding so 1 kg if sufficient grazing grazing is there if not grazing then 2 to 2.5 kg feed is being provided and similarly for pregnant so again the quantity of feed is being increased for the pregnant so we may provide 2 to 2.5 kg of the feed and after farrowing 2 to 2.5 kg of concentrate ration along with 0.2 kg or 200 grams per piglets we have to provide the extra ration to the female pigs these are the important fodders for the pigs subabul napier maize potatoes sweet potatoes tapioca these are the things we may also provide for grains maize groundnut cake dried fish wheat bran salt mineral mixture so these are the things we are providing for feeding to the pigs these are the how we prepare the ration so if these ingredients are available maize oil cakes wheat bran fish meal mineral mixture salt so for different categories of the pigs like crib ration for the pigs up to 2 months of age grower ration 2 to 
six months of the age and for finisher rasan after six months or after getting gaining the 45 kg of body weight we may convert we may replace the grower rasan with the finisher rasan water for the pigs is also very very important it should pig should get uh, clean water 24 hours water trough should be high enough from the ground the lactating mother needs more water because milking ability if she is milking the more water is required in hot season season water requirement is high because during the summer it is susceptible to the uh, high environmental temperature so uh, to sustain and so to uh, relieve from the high environmental temperature more cold water is required during the um, summer season some characteristic features of swine nutrition are few of this already discussed pigs have single compartment of the stomach in ruminants four compartment is there in case of cow sheep goat buffaloes four compartment of stomachs are there that's why they can consume large quantity of the roughages dry grasses or grasses or roughages so being non ruminants they cannot utilize fibrous fodder ration must have more concentrate and less roughages feed cost comes 75% of the total cost of rearing nutrition effect growth reproduction and production feed conversion ratio is most efficient 1 is to 3 hence need less feed per kg gain pig can vary very well utilize kitchen garbage and left out feed articles of livestock convert inedible feed to edible pig directly compete with human being for cereals energy plays an important role for meat type of ox pig suffer more from nutritional deficiency than to than do ruminants feeding program must be efficient to make it profitable and always give free access to water four types of ration we are provided creep starter grower or finisher mainly three types creep grower and finisher most economic feed ingredients must be selected because if the feed cost is higher then the economics will be farming will be not so much profitable a small pasture is good for raising pigs and provided it good succulent forages means hard or rough or dry forages they do not like but uh, if succulent forages are there they may utilize so selecting feeds for swine feed cost is of uh, already discussed 75 70 to 75 percent of total Uh, management cost comes under the feeding on nutrients need of hog include energy protein minerals vitamins water energy feeds are corn wool uh, barley mallow wheat rye oat triticale pot whatever at available to the farmers they may utilize as energy feed corn we may utilize this a major source of energy and uh, basic energy feed high in digestible carbs low in fiber palatable so maize we are uh, utilizing as a major component corn y product we may also utilize for feeding to the pigs potatoes we may use directly for the feeding to the pigs because also having a good quantity quality quantity of the energy as well as the protein supplement uh, protein supplement we must add uh, along with the energy feed bakery waste if the factory by products are there for the bakery if not suitable for the human consumption they may be utilized for the feeding to the pigs molasses or molasses by products in sugar cane factories by products are molasses by products are there uh, we may utilize that by uh, product for feeding to the pigs and uh, plant proteins like uh, it's the plant protein is also very very important for the feeding and for the development and growth and for the reproduction of the pigs among the uh, among the plant proteins whatever available because this plant protein is the costly ingredient so whatever it is available to the farmers like soybean oil meal we may uh, it is a good quantity of protein 40, 44 to 49% protein is there 
सो इफ द सोयाबीन मिल इज अवेलेबल तो इन प्लेस ऑफ द ग्राउंड नट केक वी मे एड द सोयाबीन ऑयल मिल कॉटन सीड मिल वी मे एड इट्स ऑल्सो है वेरी गुड क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द प्रोटीन एंड इट मे बी फेड टू फाइव परसेंट रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ प्रोटीन विल बी देयर विद द इन केस ऑफ द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ द राशन सिमिलरली लिंसिड मिल लिंसिड मिल इज वी मे ऑल्सो एड फाइव परसेंट ऑफ लिंसिड मिल टू द राशन ऑफ द पिग्स फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग गुड क्वालिटी एंड क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द राशन ऑफ द फीड होल सोयाबीन वी मे ऑल्सो एड इफ अवेलेबल एट चीपर रेट वी मे ऑल्सो एड द होल सोयाबीन मिल एनिमल प्रोटीन वी मे ऑल्सो एड द एनिमल प्रोटीन लाइक मीट स्क्रैप्स इट्स मीट स्क्रैपिंग Um, in the slaughter house whatever scraps are there that is being waste is we may utilize that scrap for feeding the, to the pigs and it's, it's it is having 50 to 60% of the protein along with the essential amino acids so we may add for the preparation of the ration of the pig uh, and we may add if we are adding the meat scraps we may replace the uh, other source of the uh, protein meat and bone meal we may also utilized in the ration fish meal it's also very important source it's also but costly 60 to 70% proteins are there so we may add 5% to 10% fish meal to the ration of the pig to make it more perfectly and to make it the more balanced if we talk about the roughages silage we may provide little quantity of silage to the pigs especially to the adult pigs and uh, 10 to 12 pounds of uh, corn or grass legume silage can be fed per day to sow or gild so silage we may mainly we may provide we should provide to the adult uh, pigs but moldy silage should be avoided pastures it's also with uh, if pastures are available then it will reduce the feeding cost of the pig and it is valuable for feeding the breeding herd good quality leguminous pasture growing facing hogs will not gain as rapidly as those in dry lot or pregnant so and gilt get the exercise they need so if pasture area is available we may provide to the pigs for getting the quantity of the grasses and the uh, uh, and to reduce the cost of the feed minerals and vitamins we must add minerals and vitamins to the ration it's a very essential and it avoids the uh, mineral if we add the minerals and vitamins it avoids the deficiency problems in case of the pigs deficiency diseases there are so many deficiency diseases are there in the pigs but if we add the mineral mixture in proper quantity then we may avoid the minerals or vitamins deficiency Uh, vitamins we may also add in the ration while we are formulating the ration we may also add some vitamins uh, for um, making the ration balanced and it uh, complete supplement of mineral vitamin premix usually cost more than the vitamin premix and if the producer does not have mixing uh, equipment on the farm it best use the so we must add the vitamins and minerals so the water is also there it is very important so we must manage the pig herd breeding a stock young stock is so the two two types of stocks are there in the herd breeding yields pregnant animals lactating animals boars these are the breeding stock young stock means piglets before winning and piglets after winning that is called winners or growers so important thing is the housing nutrition good breeding management and health care means vaccination and parasitic control breeding gilt and so females comes in heat every 3 weeks every 21 days this is the cycle they comes in heat again and again when on heat they will stand already we discussed the symptoms of the animals in heat so allow the males for mating or do the in this is the uh, when we press when the animals in heat we press on the back the female will not move they will stand and mounting behavior 
they mount on the under pig and then allow to mount uh, the bo males or females on uh, in, on herself so this is the normal mating so pregnant so when the pregnancy takes place the animal will not come in heat after 3 weeks and after 114 days the female will farrow so observe the saw for sign of heat especially about 3 weeks after the first service and repeat service if necessary before farrowing date treat for the worms if the before farrowing treat with the worms intestinal worms are there so some medicines we should be provided to clean the worms from the stomach if during the farrowing put saw in the farrowing pans about a week before due to late and supply lots of bedding a stand why during farrowing a help if needful so during the farrowing must be attentive and do not do not break the umbilical cord it, it is being normally cut and uh, rub and dry the piglets after farrowing remove the membranes and uh, provide the warm environment to the farrowing pen and allow the uh, piglets to suckle if supervision is not good then lots of mortalities may be there may take place so during lactation so feeding quantity should be increased uh, for normal suppose uh, 2 to 2.5 kg feed we are providing to the females then extra ration 200 grams per piglet we must provide suppose 10 piglets are there then 2.5 kg extra ration 2.5 plus 2.5 means 5 kg ration we should provide and it should be divided in three times morning afternoon and evening to prevent the excessive intake or to prevent the loss and ensure the provision of clean water and winning means separation of the Piglets with mother should be should take place uh, at the age of six weeks or eight weeks. So can serve at uh, first heat after winning if she is in good condition. During lactation, so should not appear thin as piglets grow. Thus grow the saw in the picture at the bottom is much too thin. So this type of condition takes place, so become much thinner if we do not provide the proper ration to the females. So take care, must take care if we provide the proper nutrition to the females, the female will, uh, lactation will be there and piglets will also be in good condition. Then uh, for boars, breed from about 10 months of age if the boar age is 10 months they start breeding and let him serve a quiet saw first if possible do not overwork maximum three to four services per week should be allowed and if the uh, boar become overweight and lame it should be culled avoid boar serving on daughters that is inbreeding so it must not must be avoid inbreeding should not serve on their on daughters so good board is a valuable asset of the farm and uh, weeding management is there if the performance of board is not good means infertile over five years is irritable nature over fat not true to breed cryptorchid condition means both testicles are not there big limbs though so that type of animal should be culled similarly in saw one third of older saw should be culled annually to maintain a good flock Gilts or so not settled after four service, nervous, irritable, produce a small litter, saw with defective teats, so a small vulva, so this type of salt should be culled. Baby pigs must be cared properly and warm conditions should be especially during the winter season, warm weather should be provided to take care of the young ones. Similarly, some important management aspect for the caring of piglets are clipping of needle teeth done with disinfected clippers pigs less than two days of old 
then clip the needle teeth just pointed parts of the needle teeth should be removed cut and remove pigs over two days of milk clip one third or half of the tooth avoid injuring the gum and navel cord should be clipped 1 to 1.5 inches away from their body cut the navel cord and disinfect with the tincture of iodine similarly most piglet death occurs in first three days of age so care must be taken during this period and uh, ensure the suckling with the mothers and ensure the lactating performance of the female pigs this is the creep area creep area means a separate area where the piglets is only only piglets are allowed to go in that area for their feedings and uh, uh, after feeding they come to the mother and start suckling this is the deep bedding we may also provide bedding system for the uh, female pigs or the for piglets it provides warmth ear notching is being practiced for the identification that is important ear notching should be there and to maintain the record ear notching is very very important so farrowing to winning period iron injection should be given at the age of 3 to 4 days of age to the piglets 1 ml intramuscular iron injection because mother milk is deficient of iron and piglets is dependent completely for 2 weeks on the mother milks so deficiency if we are not provide the iron to the uh, female pigs externally then deficiency of iron that is called piglet anemia takes place in the piglets so injection of iron should be given to the muscles at the age of 3 days of age 1 ml intramuscular injection of iron injection should be given then again at 13th day of age it should be given two times overdose must not be given farrowing to winning watch closely for a scores if during the after farrowing till winning the diarrhea is common and bacterial diarrhea takes place so uh, uh, give antibiotic after consultation with the doctor to uh, stop the diarrhea and castrate the if castration uh, you have to follow the castration then castrate at the age of 4 to 6 weeks of age uh, to the piglets a start pig on feed as soon as possible after 2 weeks of age a start giving feeding to the piglets that is called creep ration and up to the weaning we provide the creep ration to the creep area to the piglets and uh, it is very very important for faster growth of the piglets weaning is very important because after weaning females again come in heat if being weaning is not being done at time then the female will not come in heat again so trend towards earlier winning is also there but in indian conditions winning time should be 6 to 8 weeks of age so early winning requires high level of management that is uh, not uh, uh, possible our in indian condition or in the village condition so we advise the uh, to wean the female uh, to wean the piglets at the age of 8 weeks at the 8 weeks of age the the piglets comes uh, body weight comes 8 to 9 kg so at this time uh, group should not be after winning we should keep the piglets of same age group in one area in one pane and it should not be more than 30 similarly winning to market we take care so that if the uh, we are rearing the pigs for the fattening purpose for meat purpose so we must take care on the feeding and we have to uh, we have to take care of the, the piglets so that with that uh, they can uh, they uh, just uh, achieve the body weight within the short time so good quantity and quality of the ration should be provided if we talk about the health aspect health aspect is also very important however the diseases are very less disease are very less in the uh, pigs so, so uh, these are the some common problem skin problem diarrhea respiratory problem female lameness anemia fmd swine fever 
so we must take care about the if regarding the skin problem like uh, mange then irritation should be there and then bal ka jharna loss of hairs and then uh, dana dana hona lal hona skin pe so these are the problems itching symptoms so these are due to the mange that is tiny mice tiny mites so spray so many spray or insecticides are being used uh, for this uh, and to remove this we may use the karanju oil camphor and uh, uh, sulfur to remove this uh, mange infection or ivermectin after consultation of doctor we may consult with the veterinarians for the treating this type of symptoms uh, skin problem other skin problems are wounds sunburn and skin parasites so for the these parasites you must consult the veterinarians diarrhea is very important for the piglets after farrowing till weaning especially during the first two weeks of age diarrhea is very common this is due to bacterial diarrhea so suitable antibiotics is recommended to control the diarrhea so consult the doctors veterinarians and treat the diarrhea Uh, as early as possible to avoid the mortality in the piglets other problems are worms vomiting constipation worms is also one of the important things that is the uh, intestinal worms and uh, helminths so to remove this uh, every 3 to uh, every 3 to 4 months interval we must deworm the animal with the use of uh, uh, alvendazol or fenvendazol we must use to remove the worms and uh, we must keep the uh, animals worm free rectal prolapse sometimes abdominal pain takes place so during this situation you must consult the doctor this is not so much common problems abdominal worms are there you see the worms so if we do the regular deworming especially uh, to the figlets they are uh, going outside for the grazing on the pasture so regular 3 to 4 months at interval deworming should be very essential pneumonia especially in winter situation takes place in case of young one so, so this is maybe viral bacterial or worms inhalation of formal uh, foreign materials bad ventilation so these are the factors causing pneumonia cold and drought predispose pigs to pneumonia so we must control the environment housing environment to control this we must uh, uh, keep the premises clean uh, we must uh, keep the premises well ventilated to avoid this type of problem swine fever is one of the very 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 important disease of the pigs so this is the viral and symptoms are very high fever normal body temperature is 102 to 103 degree fahrenheit but in this situation the body temperature becomes 106 and 107 so in this situation uh, high mortality takes place 89 80 to 90 or 100% mortality may takes place so to avoid this swine fever disease we must vaccinate the animals with the swine fever vaccines first vaccination uh, we uh, provide the vaccine at the age of 2 months of age after weaning and then every 6 months interval uh, we must provide the swine fever vaccine to the pigs it's a very serious problem and uh, uh, other normal fever also takes place maybe due to bacterial so uh, for if the animal is vaccinated uh, still fever comes then consult the doctor it will uh, use the uh, this paracetamol as well as the antibiotic to control this this is the classical swine fever this is the symptoms classical swine fever or swine fever is the same highly contagious disease of pigs at all ages it is transmitted through direct contact and through mechanical transmission and uh, only one serotype exists uh, although strained with different virulence characteristics have been identified classical swine fever is not a threat to human health so classical swine fever for the pigs is very very important these are the symptoms uh, very high fever sudden death and anorexia conjunctivitis so these are the symptom we uh, second disease is the fmd foot and mouth disease this is also very common in the cattle goats here the symptoms of this disease is the fever off feeding reproductive failures high mortality in piglets 
death in infected animal due to secondary bacterial infection. So, to avoid this FMD, we must vaccinate FMD vaccine. First vaccination at the age of 2 months of age, then at the 6 month interval, we must vaccinate the pigs with the FMD. Second is piglet anemia, we already discussed at the, to avoid this, we must give the iron injection at the age of 3 days of age and then 13 or 14 days of age, 1 ml in each time intramuscular to avoid the uh, piglet anemia to the piglets. And piglet and due to piglet anemia, then uh, animals uh, in the piglets uh, becomes anemic, pale and mortality takes place. So the, for the prevention, iron injection or some uh, ferrous sulphate, copper sulphate solution we may uh, provide to the piglets to avoid this situation. Some reproductive problems occasional takes place, infertility, bore infertility, prenatal death. So in this situation, infertility takes place. Then better to cull that animal uh, to the market and do not keep this type of animal to the stock. Heat stock is another aspect because the pigs is, is very much susceptible to the uh, warm environment condition. So uh, during the summer situation, if the environmental uh, condition is warm, in that situation, uh, we must uh, keep our environment, the housing environment cool and uh, if the environment is very hot, then sprinkle the water to the uh, body of the pigs to uh, to avoid the heat stress problem. Lameness sometimes takes place, so in lameness, whether to cull the animal if the lameness takes place and general principles of parasitic control is also uh, to control the internal parasite or ectoparasite, do not graze on wet grass, compost manure, do not spread manure on pasture, use dewormer judiciously every three to four months interval, use fecal examination, select restraint animal. So these are the things we must follow. Disease for disease prevention, vaccination, swine fever, FMD vaccination, first at the two months of age, then at six month interval and in between two vaccinations, there must be a gap of 10 days. So vaccination is very important. Good qual quality and quantity of nutrition should be provided. Biosecurity measures should be followed and have closed herd quarantine. If new animals we are purchasing, then maintain in the quarantine. Isolate the sick animal. If animal is sick, must immediately isolate that animal. And vaccination if for the immunity, colostrum, vaccination, material, antibody, these are the things we must follow, provide. These are the constraints, production issue, non ability of quality, piglets, inbreeding, these are the some constraints. We must avoid these constraints, we must uh, maintain the good quality of the stock and uh, we must not uh, allow the inbreeding to the herds to uh, avoid this type of problem. These are the input and output how the uh, we can purchase and what uh, um, uh, how the pigs breeding fatteners are being maintained and the output is piglets we may sell in the in terms of the in the form of piglets meat biofuels cash crops so so many. So these are the some information gap, research and information gap. So to maintain the herd and to maintain the pig farming, pig farm or uh, good management. So we must follow this uh, significant decrease in pig population is not clear why normally the population of the, our country, population of pig is significantly decreasing and uh, information is needed. Uh, on the nutrient content of the local feed resources because feed cost is higher so farmers must you utilize the local feed resources uh, for the feeding to their pigs evaluation of existing government farm programs whatever it is must evaluate a more detailed study of demand and supply scenario for livestock product is needed promotion of piggery as a livelihood is essential by establishment of pig breeding unit with the help of NGO people participation for the multiplication of improved pig and supply of these at regular interval. 
This will also help to demonstrate pig rearing practices in scientific manner to the local farmers. So our suggestion is genetic improvement of indigenous pigs through molecular means selective breeding and cross breeding is must. Improvement of physiological and reproductive efficiency of pig production is very essential. Development of suitable techniques for early pregnancy diagnosis using biological fluids is essential. Assessment of local or regional feed resources and improvement of nutrient utilization for enhancing pig production. Development of pig health management protocols, post harvest management and value addition of the pork. Uh, institute a stakeholder linkage and a skill development for improved pig sick production is very essential thank you thank you very much